Happy Holy Week, Church. We're at the beginning of this week, and we just want to give you a little bit of inspiration to start your week. So today we are going to watch a video testimony from Carol Skolnick. She has a great word for us about faith and what faith accomplishes in us and through us. So I hope you enjoy it. Hi, church family. I'm so happy to be here today to spend a few minutes with you. I hope the time that we have together will be an encouragement for you as we walk through these difficult days. As I look back over my life, I realize there's always been two forces that have been battling to have control over me. I know what these forces are, and I know which one is the enemy. And even though I've tried to stay out of the enemy's grasp, sometimes I've allowed myself to be taken captive, almost like a prisoner of war, and dragged back to the enemy camp. Um, The name of these two forces are faith and fear. And the Bible has a lot to say about both of them. Today I'm going to read the opening verses of that great chapter about faith from Hebrews 11. Listen to the Word of God. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. The chapter goes on to say, By faith Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By faith Enoch was taken from this life. By faith Noah when warned about things not yet seen, built an ark to save his family. By faith, Abraham, even though he was past age and Sarah herself was barren, was enabled to become a father because he considered him faithful who had made the promise. The chapter goes on and on through dozens of Old Testament saints. I encourage you to read this whole chapter for yourself. It wraps up by saying that even though these folks were commended for their faith, they did not live to see the promise fulfilled. We, however, live on the other side of the cross. We know the happy ending that awaits us. So chapter 12 opens with a challenge for us, the people of God. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Friends, that's my prayer for you, for us, that we will not grow weary and lose heart during these days. We need to feed our faith. We need to starve our fear by taking charge of what we allow to come into our lives. We need to feed our faith by reading the story of faithful people in the Bible, by reading the story of our faithful God. We need to spend some time in prayer. We need to spend time praising God and thanking Him for the abundant life that He has given us and the gift beyond compare, the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. So friends, feed your faith, starve your fear, do not grow weary and lose heart. I want to close with these ancient words of blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. God bless.